work at Jobot, uh, coffee and bar, as well as I apprentice at a welding shop. As for artwork, I make uh, a wide variety of just weird shit. Taxidermy to sculpting. Um, this is a self air drying clay that I, I've never used. I started making uh, these weird light systems. I was gifted this really old medical display and it was from the 1800s. It was just so old and cool and I learned how to take that old wax that was falling off of it from the 1800s and kind of how I started sculpting and doing art. I ended up just really loving it and it got into something that I haven't been able to stop doing. The first thing that I ever made, I ended up making this very, very terrifying uh, monster. Oddly enough, even when I try to make pretty things or nice things, they turn out like this. <laughs> even having it at Jobot is a bit interesting because I always just thought that nobody would really like it. It's, it's been cool to see like, you know, how people respond to it. I'm the owner of Jobot. <laughs> we've always uh, we've always really uh, strived to support you know uh, local artists and all that you know and then you know I had a pers personal connection with uh, with this artist that I couldn't say no to really yeah because I'll hit him yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he's had a black guy before <laughs> art can be anything it doesn't have to be pretty drawings or paintings it can just be something that's keeping you busy or your hands or you trying to figure out something and that doesn't make it any less artistic. I never really considered myself an artist until I really started working with wax and that was really pushed on from um, some friends of mine who gave me that stuff. At the time I was kind of like going crazy. I was having a, a bipolar too so there's two types of bipolar and the other one is a uh, Instead of getting really depressed, you kind of go really manic and you want all of the exciting things and you move real, real, real fast. And I was always on the go. And this really helps my mind kind of sit and stay. And, I'm, you know, mental health and art and all of that go hand in hand. And I think being able to admit that there's something wrong with you or you know, not even wrong with you, that's just where you're at with something is is okay. It's probably that whole thing of like the dark art of like, you can make that into something that's beautiful instead of something that you're really scared of.